All right, in my video today, I am going to show you a demonstration. So uh, you will see me now, and uh, in a moment we will switch to the screencast mode, where I will show you how to move from Excel to uh, OpenBOM just in 10 minutes. So watch my video. So what you can see on the, on the screen, I have my OpenBOM demo account, where I will be demonstrating and uh, I also have my BOM that I've been making in the Google spreadsheet before. And uh, this is uh, something that I consider fairly typical. So take a look. I get a BOM of the very simple wireless router. I have parts with the part numbers. I have some descriptions and I have some name and some additional data. So I, I, I bet you have many of this, okay? <clears throat> I'm taking it also a little bit more complex. I get pictures here. You don't have to have them. And I also have a column where I keep a level because my structure of the bomb, my structure of assemblies and assemblies, it's a, um, a sub levels. I have levels, top level and sub levels. So I will take you through this as well. So first I need to take a look on the spreadsheet and I need to differentiate between two pieces of information. The one information that will go to OpenBOM catalog and the second that information will go to uh, OpenBOM bill of materials. And it makes total sense to separate between them and I will explain you why. So first you think about catalogs in OpenBOM is a database for all your parts. So all parts you have, standard part, engineering part, you just put them over catalogs and you create uh, few catalogs that represent all your data. Bill of materials are instances of the parts from a catalog. So when you think about your data, you think about information that goes to catalogs and information that goes to bill of materials. So for the purpose of this demonstration, I will take a copy of this spreadsheet and I will uh, copy to another spreadsheet and I will use this spreadsheet as, a, as my catalog example. So here is the data from my catalog. So I can see that, for example, uh, level is clearly not related to the catalog because it's related to a particular, particular bill of materials. Uh, quantity is also not related to the catalog. It's related to specific bill of materials. A quantity on hand, on the other side, is the number of uh, parts that we might have. And let's say I know how many parts I have, and I have all of them 10. I just can put that I have 10 parts of each in my um, stock. So uh, what else I can do? Cost is clearly information that sits in the catalog because the cost of the part, and I have a lot of sense to keep this cost uh, centralized. Description, configuration name, all these pieces of information it's something that makes total sense, total sense to keep it as uh, catalog information. And I call it test catalog. You can give it another name. So I can call it, for example, my inventory. And so far I get this, I get this catalog. Okay. So what can we do now? We can go to open bomb and we can import the spreadsheet and create a catalog out of this spreadsheet. So keep in mind there are there is a row in the uh, spreadsheet that I keep uh, names of the columns. So it's important to remember the number of this row because this number will be used in the import. And OpenBOM is flexible. He will capture all information from this row and will create a property in OpenBOM or will reuse property if this property already exists. So let's make a first step. Let's go to, and the name of this spreadsheet is my inventory. So I go to dashboard and I use the import catalog command and I select this dashboard. Well, I need to log into my Google account. And as I log into my Google account, I can search for my inventory. So this is my, my inventory uh, spreadsheet. And you remember this line number one was one. <clears throat> so that's everything that you need to know. If you have a part number property, which I guess you have in most of the cases, you leave it as part number. But if you have this uh, property called different, 
you can put the name of this property in the import dialog so it will turn this property to a unique ID in OpenBOM called part number but we don't need to do it for the moment but remember if this property name is not part number you can put this name over here and OpenBOM will convert it so I click on the import and look what happened so we got a uh, open bomb catalog created for from the spreadsheet so everything is configured all data is here quantity on hand everything and later i will show you how you can use it so the information is completely imported in uh, open bomb so now let's do the next step and the next step for us is to import bill of materials so I go to my first spreadsheet where I had bill of materials, but remember most of things we already imported and that's already part of the catalog. So what we can do, we can leave only those, uh, if these pieces of information that are important for BAM. And you know, it's a tree property. I need to get part number, I need to know level and I need to know quantity. So everything else I will just delete from this. Oh, you know what? I will leave thumbnail image just for kicks and giggles to show you how you can import the image as well. So let's me, uh, let me uh, delete all this information. So I delete it from spreadsheet. I don't need it because I already imported it as part of the catalog. So I uh, deleted these columns and this is the information that we have. Uh, part number, quantity, and level. Level is important because level will allow you to import BOM and immediately create a hierarchy, the structure. It's something that Excel and Google Sheet managing poorly and you cannot do the structure because you see it's technically flat. But you will see a difference in Open BOM. It will be structured information. So I take the name of the spreadsheet and now again I go to my uh, build materials, so Open BOM and I uh, navigate to the dashboard and in the dashboard I use uh, import bomb so I use import bomb from Google sheet uh, my account and uh, I can take this name so that's my router bomb and again remember this uh, number will be one because we have names of the properties in the first row and part number stays so we click on the import and look what happened we got bill of materials with uh, information now you can think where is the rest of, ro of the rows a good question we created multi-level bill of materials we now in single level if you switch on the multi-level you will see that some of these uh, assemblies actually turn to additional sub-levels and OpenBOM manage this information completely structured in a hierarchical way so the remaining piece of information is where the data that I imported in the catalog so I can use a part and catalog command to connect my catalog and uh, I leave this information connected and now, as you can see, we created bill of materials completely from the uh, spreadsheet. And uh, this is a beautiful thing because now you get all your information in OpenBOM and you see that all information that you have before, cost, quantity, hierarchy, it's all imported in OpenBOM and you get this whole information and you can forget about your Google spreadsheets you can forget about Excel because um, OpenBOM is much better and easier way to manage bill of materials and I'll just give you one tip before uh, anything else you have your structure and you uh, can with one click turn the bill of materials in the flattened mode which will calculate quantities in all sub levels and all sub assemblies and put them in complete report so you know that you have a four screws in the entire assembly doesn't matter in what levels it is located I can give you last tip if you are in open bomb you can calculate 
quantity and you cost and you can calculate roll up cost and in my next video i will go to these calculations because this is the magic that you absolutely cannot do in any excel and any spreadsheet i hope you enjoyed the video so send me your questions and i look forward to see you in the next video bye bye